Hey, what's going on? Taylor here, and this video is going to be a little bit different from my previous videos. I'm going to show you guys what's in my camera bag for 2022. I've only been shooting, at least with this setup and this camera, for maybe a year now, and so we're just going to go ahead and jump right into what gear I have, what I'm currently using, as well as a couple of my gear goals, so lenses that I want, filters that I want, etc. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop straight into the video. We're going to go ahead and just get started with the bag. It is a Caden camera bag. I ended up getting it off of Amazon, just pretty basic. Velcro on the inside allows you to adjust however you need for all of your gear, which I have main camera body right here, prime lens with the zoom lens mounted to the camera usually. This spot is for the Rode microphone, and then we have a couple other storage spaces for all of our filters, power banks, SD card holders, and what have not, or what have you. We'll go ahead and move on to just some of the kind of the smaller things. So we'll have like a solar powered power bank, as well as a rechargeable power bank, which those just kind of come in handy. Next is going to be the Weishnens Media. I probably butchered your name, Brandon, I'm sorry, but uh, it's got his camera strap leather. It is extremely comfortable, and I've used it for rollers, hanging out of a car going like 60 miles an hour, and it's done just fine. And I'm highly impressed. The more you use it, the better that it functions. So highly recommend picking yourself up one of these straps. Next, we'll go on to the Pelican SD card case, which you can see I have some of my SD cards in there. We do have a Extreme Pro 128 gigabyte V30, which that is primarily for photos. And then what we have in the camera right now is the V90 for the 4K video capabilities. Highly recommend using one of these cases. It keeps them secure, safe. It's a really good case, highly recommend it. Next, we'll go on to the filters. For the zoom lens that's currently on the camera, we have a CPL. So we have a polarizer, circular polarizer right there, which comes in handy, especially during the day in very high light settings. Here we have a UV filter for the 35 millimeter, which I can't remember the brand of this filter, honestly, just something to help protect the lens itself. And that'll bring us to the next item which is going to be the Sigma 35 millimeter 1.4 aperture lens. And with that, I have paired a Peter McKinnon VND filter, which I have yet to do a shoot with this filter. I'm actually going to be doing a shoot tomorrow with this filter on. So I'm extremely excited to actually get out and test it. It is a two to five stop, so it should help, especially in higher light situations. So I can bring out more color and bring down the highlights. So very excited to get out and use this. Not to mention, it was, a, it was a very pricey filter, but at the end of the day, it's going to be worth it. Now we're gonna move on to the big stuff. So this is the Ronin SC2 gimbal, which uh, it's from DJI. I was actually gifted this from my friend Hans about a year ago, maybe. And um, I use this, this is probably my favorite piece of equipment to use other than the 35 millimeter from Sigma. And I ended up using this at Stance Wars Seattle and a couple other shows. And I also have used it for uh, quite a couple of my vlogging videos. And this is a perfect setup for that. It does fit perfectly right on the side of the bag. So I am able to be mobile with it so I can do video and photo at the same time. But it's been a great gimbal. I'm gonna keep it in the arsenal as long as I possibly can until I can upgrade to the DJI uh, three point, which I guess is the next step up, but those are kind of spendy, which brings us to the next gimbal, which you see laying here, which this is a Moza gimbal, which is not actually mine. This is my good friend Emily's, which she's letting me use. And she said, if I could spend the time learning how to use it, then I am more than welcome to. So we have a three point gimbal right here from Moza. I have tried it out a couple different times and I really like having the handles here on the sides and makes it extremely convenient, especially when you're trying to get certain angles or shots. And I definitely see myself using this a lot more in the future, as well as for a couple videos that you guys are probably gonna end up seeing on the channel within the next couple of months, given that we do have show season starting, which makes me very happy. And well, I guess the last little bit of information that I need to tell you guys is I'm shooting on a Sony A7R II, which it's not an A7S, but it is, well, 
in my opinion, the next best thing. So that is the body that I'm using and the lens that is on the camera right now that we're recording this video with is the Sony 16 to 50 millimeter zoom lens, which I believe is an F 3.5. And it is paired with the Rode video mic, which is this guy right here. Just got this in last week, which is why I'm very excited to be recording this video to get better audio as well as a lot better experience when I'm recording some of these upcoming cinematics. So, okay, so I've grabbed my list, we're looking at it, and there's really three things on this list that really stick out to me. And they're a very high priority, not only because of the type of content that I wanna create, but also what I wanna do as a full-time job. So, first item of business would be the Sony GM 24 to 70 millimeter zoom lens. This would be perfect for cinematic shots, videos, as well as making sure that I can get really nice, crisp, clean B-roll. And let's be honest, for a $1,800 to $2,000 price point, it's worth the money. So that's number one on my list. Number two would probably be the Sony 50 millimeter, uh, I believe F1.8 is what it is. That's what I have written down here at least. And that lens would give me a nice change from the aspect of the 35 millimeter and allow me to get a little bit different of a perspective. I was really tossing up a 50 versus an 85 millimeter, but at the end of the day, what I've been able to gather from all of the Sony folk out there is the 50 millimeter is a lot better and 85 millimeter is a little bit more of a niche shot. So we're gonna end up going with the 50 millimeter. And the third item being my own three point axis gimbal which the Moza is great. I'm very thankful for Emily letting me use that, but I do have my eyes set on the DJI. So that's going to be making its way into the arsenal before the end of the year, hopefully, we'll see. And to pair it off, we'll probably end up getting an, a gimbal for my iPhone as well. Just because having this phone and this camera capabilities I might as well use it to my benefit and get a gimbal so that way I can do some Instagram reels or other mobile content with it. But that's basically going to be it. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed or if you want to share some of your gear, make sure to let me know down in the comments below and consider leaving it a thumbs up as it definitely helps me out and lets me know if you guys enjoy these videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.